Hello. Today we're going to be attempting, I repeat that, attempting to pick this year's Kmark. Uh, when I first started picking years ago, I actually had one of these and it absolutely hard my life. And I believe they've got serrated uh, drivers in them. And they've got like a mad counter milling in them where that actually catches, I think, the drive, I mean the key pins or the driver pins somewhere where they actually hang in the face of the key pins are dead slack and that that's where I can remember this one I got I got this off a friend ages ago he says he couldn't pick it and you can like you see where he's actually been he's actually started a yoke with a bit at the bottom uh, so anyway we're going to give it a gun and there's your key bit thing so let's give it a shot there see if it's going to have me life or not make sure that tension is spot on Right, so uh, what picks shall I use? I've been making some homebrew picks with uh, pen blanks, the acrylics, because they're lovely colours. That seems to be the in thing at the minute, and like I say, beautiful are some of the colours. And my fingers are a bit minging off the uh, grinding and sanding and all that crap. Anyway, less of the buffering, see if we can get this bad boy open. The band on six. Yeah, nothing. Put tension a bit further up. I'd like tension now when I just ramp the toggle a little bit. Yeah. Right, I'm on five, that's binding. Bit turn the corner, tap that five. Oh, that was number three, I believe. Number one's binding. Got a bit more turn the corner there. But I'm not going to be fooled by the bit movement. I know that's what I got before. Last time I had a lock like this. And the lesson I learned was like like this tension and basically just just basically just touch the pins. That's how I got with the last one open. The last one had probably crazy key bin. Oh I don't have it over set that one like too many pins. One, two, three, four. Five. Oh, that click. Six. Come back on myself. My two feels stiff. Let's try this two. Two. Three. Four, five, six. Oh, I think I've dropped the pin there. It sounds like a pin drop, I might like. Let's test this one again. Another one. Getting back on it again. I think that pick's too high. Probably oversetting with that pick, so I'm going to try this, this one here. Get in. <laughs> I got that open. Buzzing. <laughs> I just love that feeling, me. When you get a tricky lock and it just pop. Right. Uh, let's sort me penetrates. It's a bit of a mess. And keep it shot. I'll just zoom this out a touch. I'm just going to bend the neck on this here, on this a bit. Uh, that's that one. New camera stand. Sorry about this. There we go. 
I've got a key. I really was expert in the bottle with this, like. Right. Let's get this right. Now, the last one I had literally had my life, I did. Right, I want to get this correct. Mm, whoops, it is. I don't want it like that, I want it like that. And like that. And so on, I want to get this perfect. There we go. And. Nah, there's nothing weird about the pins, like. Any weirdness going on there, like. Uh, let's dump these out anyway. One. Let's turn that around. Two. Three. Three. Four. Right, this camera's not the best, the camera's still waiting for me on the camera. I'll see if I can get it up, but I can't. You can see the counter mill, that's got counter mill, that's halfway down, you can just see a side on the camera there. It's half me, you've got drill protection front and both sides there, but yeah, I've got that weird counter mill that goes halfway down and does something weird at the lock. I, 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 I'm just guessing what I said earlier on, like. Standard as you would expect. Uh, take these. Oops. We've got a, a serrated. I'm gonna take this spring out. Take these springs out. What's that? Got ball bearings in the springs. What's that for? Weird. Uh, serrated, just as I thought, just what I felt as well. The next one. Oh, sorry, sorry. Right, another serrated. Next one. Another serrated. Nice serrated pins in, like different serrations as well. Then look like uh, yield, yield serrated pins. That's what makes these tricky to pick. What's happening there? So a pin coming out. I'll get these springs out. Copper springs. Right. See, that's what makes these tricky as well, the light spring pressure. Right. Let's, what numbers are on? One, two, three, four. We're on number five, sorry. Maybe that's if it pops up. Well, there we go. Yes. It's weird as well. You need more pins in this. Sad. Now oh, there's a pin stuck in the bottle, as you can see. See, it's in that one. Uh, you see, it's stuck there, number one, two. Well, number five, sorry. Uh, pick. Oh, that's weird. Are going to come out? Nah, that's jammed right in. There's all the springs as well. Oh, there's a spring there. There's a spring jammed in number six. There's a pin actually jammed in number five. It's jammed right up. Get this spring out of there. Oh, there we go. 
it was a standard number five it's come out right stick down number five sorry about the delay and there's a spring up with that one and that goes in that one and give a look there's a spring there's a spring stuck in there that's why there's a spring ram right at the bottom i kind of get that out like right so anyway here we're going uh, right So as you can see, we've got all standards at the bottom, and at the top we've got a steel. Uh, number two is serrated, and number three is a funny looking serrated. Well, I've got different serrations in them, as you can see there. You see there? So we've got a steel, what a steel in number five. That's a bit weird. So me personally, I've picked one of these locks before and they've usually just got serrated in they've never got usually got a steel standing but like I say the people can repin these locks any time or the manufacturer might have done it but I've never had it where I've had a steel in if you've just been a steel and full of serrated anyway less of the waffling on I hope you liked and uh, thanks for watching and bye